Hey everyone, today I am finally going to share my brand new drink station. We purchased a new item for my birthday and I finally have the dream drink station I've always wanted for this house. So I'm gonna turn you around, I'm gonna show you how we put it together and talk about the new things that we purchased for it. So here is my new drink station. The last time that I did a kitchen clean with me, the microwave that's now over here was on that station. But the microwave thankfully worked out right here. It has an outlet directly behind it for this, this, and this, and then we'll just figure out how to trade those two off whenever we, I need to use that roaster pan. But it worked out over there, so now that allowed me to have the drink station right here with the coffee pot right here. The drinks or the cup, the rest of the cups are in the cabinet above here. What I absolutely love about it is, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the back work. This is a Wi-Fi extender that we have to use for our office because we live in a one bed, one story, four bedroom house. So it kind of just sometimes has trouble traveling across the entire distance of a one story house. So we have a Wi-Fi extender here for the office. So what he did was he bought a power strip that was flat that would fit under that and that's what the purpose of that is. Then he took leather strips from his leather smithing tools he uses to make like pouches and things and he added these along here to hold the cables and now whenever I want to make coffee I can pull this out and it misses the edge of the cabinet but it keeps the wires all back there and I can put the water in here to make coffee. And as you can see, I've already made coffee. So I'm gonna push this back, if I can do it one-handed. The other piece that I absolutely wanted over here is our immersion blender, because I use it for making whipped desserts or cold milk foam to go over coffee. So that fit back here as well. This piece here, this will also come out. This one's cord, you have to kind of play with to get in and out back here, but I'm okay with that. But it's also on an extender so that it's not affecting the coffee pot at all. So it goes back here behind it, and all I have to do is pick up the two pieces and set it back there. I will leave Amazon affiliate links for everything we purchased. I wasn't a huge fan of the cutting blade that came with it. It came apart fairly quickly, but I absolutely love the whisk attachment that came with it. So to me, that was worth it and we just don't use the cutting blade. Now let's move on to the piece that really made this work as a coffee station. This is a three tier farmhouse style tray and it actually has a handle on it. It does not pivot but that's okay because we just got it to fit under here and one of the requirements we looked at was that it had to fit under the edge of this cabinet so it doesn't turn but i'm perfectly fine with that because i also don't want something turning that has a bunch of teacups and coffee cups on it so this is a three chair tray this is a star pack products product like the company name is star pack product they sell so many cute kitchen things online. I will link their Amazon affiliate link below as well. But let's get to how we utilize this. The one thing I was looking at when I wanted a coffee station was I wanted a place where whenever we host dinners, um, usually we have a lot of family things, like we have like family um, meals here. We had our first Thanksgiving in this house, we hosted it. We love hosting parties and things like that. So I wanted something to where every time we had a party, I didn't have to stress about a drink station. So this is mostly like hot drink things, but what we can do is we can also set cold drinks right here on the counter and it's fine. And then usually we can set like an ice bucket here in the sink and that works out as well. So let's start at the top. The piece that I was actually waiting on before I started filming this, we've had this piece it was a birthday present from Matt and the girls for me and I'm I absolutely love it but Sarah wanted to make this beach strand and it matches the colors of our coffee pot and the rest of the appliances through the house we have a red toaster we have a red or through the kitchen red toaster red microwave all my mixing bowls are red so we have like a red and black theme 
and it's a chili pepper theme also through my kitchen. So she took a bunch of beads and she made this bead strand for me and I absolutely love it. It just kind of added the finishing touch and I could not do this filming of showing it without that there. So at the top, we put all of our individually wrapped tea bags. Now any tea that we buy that comes in a box and they don't have like individual wrappings like that, we're still gonna keep where we keep our bulk amount of coffee and coffee filters, but that's okay with me. It was mostly set up to do drinks for when we're hosting and normally when we're hosting, you know, things like that, I want individual things for people to just be able to come and go. So right now, the ones that we have individuals of are the orange and spice and then I have a friend who is from Britain and she has helped me pick out some flavored teas that I can use and tea recommendations that she's given me before so this is an Earl Grey decaf because at night I prefer having decaf tea and this is an evening tea that she actually purchased for me it's a decaf black tea this stuff is so amazing and then if you don't like straight black tea it is really good with just a little bit of heavy whipping cream. It's fabulous. I love it. So I have a lot of that because I only drink it in the evenings. I don't drink it like every evening, but I really love it. There's red raspberry. There's a couple of green teas and mix and match teas. That one's backwards. That's just a green tea and some more green teas here. These here are the crush additives. We also use these whenever we are making the keto dole whip. So that's what we use those for. And we have switched to purchasing these on Amazon. So I'll drop the affiliate link for those as well. We also have Matt's Mio's back here because now in the mornings when it's too hot for him to have coffee, he can come to the cabinet here, grab his cup and grab one of these Mio's and he has his morning drinks. Also back here, we have a little teacup that fit perfectly on this top station with everything else here. We have individual packets of a and w the jolly rancher and the crush what we can buy of the individual packets of crush so we also have like extra water flavor additives up there as well so we do have some cold drink stuff on here the next tier is literally just teacups so what i can do now is if like we're hosting a tea party or we're doing tea with our meal or doing serving tea before a meal is finished i can set the tea plates right here or here or I actually have like a small table that I will put right here and I move the trash can over and all the way because nobody's going in the office while we're hosting stuff and I can set it here and have like the teacups here and the teacups will be right here to ready to serve and down here currently with the instant coffee packs in here so we wanted to keep the caffeinated and non-caffeinated separate from up there this is my creamer cup for the tea set and then my sugar set or sugar cup right here another thing that i was glad that fit was we were able to fit three of these taranis if we didn't have as many cups around here we could fit more right now i have the s'mores the hazelnut and the caramel those are the flavors that we're using a lot right now we also use a lot of the french vanilla so much that i'm actually out and have some order to pick up tomorrow but Another thing that we found, this is not an Amazon, this one's a Wish, but Matt found these adorable little bear teaspoons for the girls' tea parties, and he ordered those for them. And I have six of the spoons, so I have three on this side and three on this side. These are the Corel coffee mugs that match the teacups up here. The next thing in here is anything that goes in here, I do have to move stuff out of here, but I mean, that's not a huge deal to me. This was something, so when I was growing up, one of my favorite memories of going to my grandparents' house was waking up and smelling pancakes. And another thing that they always had was a cinnamon sugar shaker. So with us staying home more and making low carb and non-low carb pancakes and waffles was, I was like, you know, I miss being at my grandparents' house and smelling those pancakes and having cinnamon sugar on top. I want the kids to have that experience while we're at home right now. So Matt went on Amazon and found a cinnamon sugar shaker. One of my favorite things about this, it is absolutely dishwasher safe. So after we finish off using it each time, we can actually pop it in the dishwasher to wash it and then refill it as we need to. And the lid screws on and off. And I thought this looked absolutely perfect in this station. This was purchased before the farmhouse tier three tier tray. And I thought it looked perfect. So I added it over here. And now also whenever they're making like 
hot chocolate this fall and winter or whenever we're making cold milk foam to go on top of cold teas they can just add a sprinkle of that on top and I just really love that that matches and goes with the rest of this. The other thing we have back here is a cappuccino mix. It's a sugar-free cappuccino mix. It was something that I figured if we're doing something like individual servings, it would be perfect for that. And the last thing back here, I actually have the lid off because we use it quite a bit, is I have a toothpick holder. So there's little toothpicks you can use for little things. And it has a silver bin as well. That was not Amazon. I don't remember where we got it. But that is our, tier, our station. Like I said, the cabinet above has the rest of the coffee cups. It has all of our drink glasses in it. So anytime that we want to make drinks now, we can come over here. Now, I've not been letting the girls pour like water over here because I don't want to get water on the counter with that tray there and like I said it doesn't spin but that's okay whenever we're actually making drinks over here we make them and then we move on but it's worked out absolutely perfectly so far and I really really love the way that it looks so that is it for our new coffee station I'm really excited about having it and it was the perfect birthday present for me and I'm so thankful for Matt and the girls. Thank you girls, cause they watch our videos after I put them up. Thank you girls for my birthday present, I love it. Thank you sweetie, I love you. And it was like the perfect gift. And I'd been wanting to try to make a coffee station work for so long and he just took time on vacation to buy that and look for the perfect item to go next to the coffee pot. And that, and those, the tier, three tier tray worked out perfectly so i will drop all the links for all the items we purchased below but definitely try out the star pack three tier tray i'll leave that below thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time